Hello Heavy Metal Maidens and Masters, I'm Heavy Metal Mama and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today we have a shoe review and that is the Demonia Fun 30 Sandals. But before we get to that, remember to like this video, comment down below to discuss anything that comes up in the video, subscribe to this channel if you haven't already, hit that notification bell so that you can find out every time I upload and welcome. So, the Demonia Fun 30. I've had these shoes about, I want to say about a year and a half now. Yeah, yeah, maybe a year, year and a half. Um, I really like these shoes, really like these shoes, but they're not the Demonia Dynamite shoes that I reviewed previously. Uh, link up there, down below in the box, remember, if you want to go and see that video, if you haven't seen it already, they are my favourite. But these are a close second, and I will tell you why. So they are a three and a half inch heel and a two and a half inch platform, giving them an overall rise of one inch. Because they're Demonia, of course, they are faux leather. And they have this lovely faux leather slip here with spiderweb detailing and these adorable little bats that are attached on by these gorgeous pyramid studs. They're really something special to look at. They, everybody, I always get comments on them whenever I wear them. I really like to wear them with my um, Killstar dress with the skulls that comes all the way up the front. I can't remember what it's called. I'll insert some pictures so that you can see, just because I like the little, you know, black and white motif. These shoes, I really, really like. Um, I reviewed them a while ago on Kate's Clothing's website because I try and review everything that I have from them. Uh, and I gave them a four out of five, mainly because uh, the slip here, is quite wide so if you have narrow feet I do not have narrow feet I am wider than average but I'm not the widest and I find that my foot if I've got very cold feet so they are not in the time slightest bit clammy uh, I find that my feet push forward a little more than they should through this through the slip which means that my toes ever so slightly hang over the edge Now on a hot summer's day, it's fine because your feet swell up a little bit and get a little bit clammy. Uh, it, they fit in there beautifully and they stay in brilliantly, which is great. But if my feet are cold uh, and very, very dry, uh, my toes do slightly hang over the edge. So if you've got narrow feet, I'm afraid these are not the shoes for you. Hang, however, if you've got wide feet, they're absolutely brilliant I really really like these they're really really comfortable to wear because the um, sole is made of foam uh, and it has this ever so slight dent here between the ball and the heel it makes them very very comfortable to walk in they give a little bit because they're they're foam uh, and they've got little holes I don't know if you can see that they've got little holes on the uh, the sole part of it so that they're breathable um, and actually, they're really comfortable to walk on if you're somewhere rocky because actually the foam does dent. If you can see, I've had to dig a couple of stones out of here that have been particularly sharp, which is a little annoying in that it, when they're stuck, you make a sort of scratchy, scrapey, clippy cloppy noise. But they're easy enough to remove out, although one of them was about half an inch long. It was a ridiculous stone that came out of there. So they're very lightweight. I mean, the, the dynamites are lightweight. These are ridiculous. You know, these are just so lightweight. They're really, really comfortable. I really, really like them. Um, I actually saw Mama Goth. This is kind of how we got talking in the first place on Instagram. We, I started following her, she'd started following me, but we hadn't really chatted. And I saw one day she was wearing these in a picture. And so I DM'd her and basically said, I'm thinking of buying these, what are your thoughts? And she basically said, yeah, they're, they're comfortable. They're not her favorite shoes, but she really liked them. Um, and so I was like, you know what? I'm gonna pick them up because I think I got these for about 25 pounds. I got them from Kate's Clothing. I'm afraid they're not available from Kate's Clothing anymore, sadly. But you can pick them up on eBay. Um, I think Attitude Europe have got a few pairs of them. They don't have, if you're a five or a six, I'm afraid you're probably out of luck. But if you're a three, a four or a seven, there seems to be quite a few pairs still available. Now you may be asking, why on earth have you done a review on these shoes then if there's none available? Well, mainly because the fun is basically this sole in the way that the dynamite is the sole from these studded sandals that I showed you um, and you can get these with fun fur over here and googly eyes 
I will insert some pictures. They are amazing. I absolutely, I just think they're brilliant. If I didn't have two children and a cat, I would have those shoes, but I have two children. Everything gets sticky. So I don't want my beautiful furry slippers to be sticky and matted because that's what will happen with, you know, they'll just, and my daughter will just want to play with them all the time. I mean, I find her clomping around in these enough, so which is just kind of adorable. But um, yeah, the fun fur ones are gonna get all sorts of gook all over them from them. But if you have no children and only have, you know, reptiles or something like that, you don't have like a dog that wants to lick everything, they are brilliant. They are definitely the new line that is out now. Um, and I suspect when I go to London Edge in a week or so that they will have more. So um, I will keep you posted, of course, in the vlog. I will make sure that I include an extensive piece of footage of Demonia because they're one of my favourite stands at London Edge. But if you are thinking of getting these, I would definitely recommend them. I think if you put gun to my head, ask me which ones are my favourite. The Demonia Dynamites are my favourite. I, you know, of all my Demonia shoes, they are my favourites. But these are a really comfortable, lovely summer shoe. And obviously, goth summer shoes are hard to come by, decent ones, you know. <sighs> New rock boots, you know, big clumpy boots, we've all got loads of them. You know, clumpy boots by the dozen. But decent sandals is hard and these do really fit the bill and they're a really reasonable price if you can if they're in your size they're about 25 to 30 quid at the moment so i would definitely recommend you go and have a look and see if you can get some if you are in the market for a pair of reasonably priced sandals i absolutely love these as you can see they they look really cool on they're just a little bit of something extra i get complimented on them quite a lot especially i mean the little bats the fact that they move a little bit when you walk they're just so cool you know how could you not want them and you know I, i'm such such a typical goth you put a skull or a bat on anything and you sold it to me <laughs> you know <laughs> it's, it's kind of sad really but I don't care <laughs> I love it anyway so let me know what you think would you pick them up what are they the kind of thing that suits you do what do you do for your summer goth shoes because I know it's hard to find shoes that mean that your feet don't bake I and mean, I know Riri Phillips says that she just wears her new rock boots and she doesn't care that she's got hot feet I can't stand having hot feet I just I yeah so I am definitely always in the market for more goth sandals so let me know down in the comments what you do in the summer if you have any other sandal suggestions please tell me about them I will probably buy them so <laughs> and then you'll get another review so <laughs> remember to like this video like I said comment down below subscribe to this channel if you haven't already it really really helps me I really appreciate it and thank you for helping me get to over 800 followers now 800 subscribers woohoo Remember to hit that notification bell if you haven't already so that you can find out whenever I upload because, you know, you want to know when a new video comes up. And remember, people, stay heavy.